My name is Sergeant First Class Collins with the Sergeant Audie Murphy Association. Scenes from McLaughlin Parade Field. Every year the Sergeant Audie Murphy Association observes the birth of Murphy, the most highly decorated soldier in U.S. history, and at the same time they honor all fallen warriors. Hello and welcome to Meet Week. I'm Brian Spen. Also this week, ACS accepts a $23,000 Army Emergency Relief donation and some important news from VA Health. These stories and more, but first a bit of news from the Visitor Control Center. On July 5th, they're reopening the center at its previous location, 902 Reese Road. Additionally, the VCC is extending its hours starting July 5th. They're going to be 6.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. on a trial basis. Although the VCC is reopening at Reese Road, the area beyond is still not accessible and is still under construction. Elsewhere, representatives from Fort Meade's Army Community Service and the Garrison's Army Emergency Relief Campaign recently accepted a donation of more than $23,000. The donation was made by the Northeast Chapter of the Army Counterintelligence Veterans Corps. They've donated in the past, but with just a few surviving members, this one will be their last. I'm Ozzy, I'm Ozzy Keenot, Ozzy Keenot, I'm known as Ozzy, uh, from the Army Counterintelligence Corps, Corps Veterans. I'm past president of it. And uh, what you see here is the uh, remaining members that we have. Uh, we only went to 1962 when the uh, counterintelligence went into a branch, which was military intelligence. And uh, that's when our group ended. Earlier this month, the Howard County Veterans Foundation unveiled the design for a future Veterans and Military Families Monument. The monument will be part of the Vivian C. Millie Bailey Park on the Columbia waterfront. Howard County is home to more than 20,000 veterans and more than 14,000 of those commute to jobs at Fort Meade every day. The Howard County Veterans Foundation is a nonprofit organization that advocates on behalf of veterans living in Howard County. For a number of years now, dating all the way back to 2011, there has always been a dream to have a, a veterans monument uh, here in Howard County, a place where where everyone can come and you know pay their respects and their tributes and honor the service and sacrifice of our veterans as well as their families. Because as as we all know, uh, when our military deploys, there's moms, dads, sisters, brothers, grandparents, and children that pick up the mantle and carry forward. The unveiling ceremony was also an opportunity to highlight all the services available to Howard County veterans. The initial concept for the monument came from the Howard County Commission on Veterans and Military Families. My office in general, we provide access, information and guidance to veterans, military families, dependents and survivors and, um, you know, navigate whatever resources they might need and collaborate with nonprofits, veteran service organizations, state and government agencies. That, um, that will help me work on more complex cases. If you'd like to find out more about the monument and the Howard County Veterans Foundation, or to get more information on services available, go to the websites on your screen. Meanwhile, some important news for post 9-11 veterans. You may now be eligible for expanded VA healthcare benefits because of the new PACT Act. Here's more from the VA. Post 9-11 veterans, you may now be eligible for expanded VA healthcare benefits because of the new PACT Act. If you served in a theater of combat operations after the Persian Gulf War ended in 1991 or served in combat after November 11, 1998 and were discharged between September 11, 2001 and October 1, 2013, you may be eligible for VA's full medical benefits package, but you must act fast. The open enrollment window ends September 30, 2023. Even if you don't need VA care right away, once you enroll, you're in. You can apply through one of four easy options. Fill out and submit the application on va.gov, go in person to your nearest VA medical center or clinic, call 877-222-8387. The 70th ISR Wing and the Fort Meade Garrison Equal Opportunity Office hosted this year's Pride Month observance this week at Club Meade. This year's guest speaker was Angel Perez, the Executive Director of Caroline Pride, an organization dedicated to serve the LGBTQ plus community in Caroline County, Maryland by raising awareness and providing diversity and equity education. And although the LGBT community has managed to win some battles to achieve that equal treatment, much remains to be done. We need to be able to expand and share knowledge about equality and how important equality is in all communities. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.